So my first games at Plough Lane were in 84 when we were in third division. And I actually was a Spurs supporter just as I was 10 years old and my brother took me to one or two Spurs games. And then at 10 I could start coming with my mates from school. And so I went to a couple, but I was still, you know, it's third division, there was never on telly. But when we, I don't know, I got to an age of about 12, 13 where I could just go by myself. And so it was really homely. Yeah. And then one day Spurs played Wimbledon in the cup. And I so wanted Wimbledon to win, you know. I so, and you just suddenly realise you've attached to it. For me, it's about home as well, you know. It was a bus journey from, it was 15, 20 minute walk from my house in Wimbledon. You get fish and chips, you go back. It's, and you start to know people. Ah, some people from school, some people from the shops, whatever. So definitely there was that where it was your home club. And what about on the pitch? Is there any particular moments on the pitch that this ground that you remember and stands out for you? Well, I remember hugging you when we, beat, when we scored against Liverpool. Yeah, I remember that, that, yeah. that was something else. I don't know, I forget that. That and the <laughs> Liverpool one, definitely. Somehow the old crazy gang who just made it into the first division, people like Glenn Hodges, two goals against Spurs when we were down to ten men, that kind of summed us up, you know. Yeah, yeah. Go down to ten men. And still. Yeah, and do yeah. it. Uh, and I really like, I actually, although 88 was the year we won the cup, the season before, I prefer that first season mm. when we were just rough and ready, you yeah. know. And, Between 10 and 14, I was obsessed with it. And then as I got to 15, 16, I was quite good at rugby, so I was more into my, to my stuff. And as I grew older and we moved away from Plough Lane, I went my own way. But I definitely, coming back now, I guess I was about 37 when I started coming back, it is like reattaching with that childhood there period and the, and really connecting with those dreams again, like the impossible, those sort of things that, no, you could never, Wimbledon could never do that. And then it happens. and.